Hello everyone, welcome back to App Unbox. Today we have something really exciting to share with you all. Imagine having the power to access another computer remotely, instantly, and all from within your web browser. Yes, you've heard me right. You can do all of these with getscreen.me. Well, it also can be a team viewer or any Dex alternative, but can it really? Let's explore. So guys, here is getscreen.me. You can customize the prices, uh, well, uh, like here, as you can see how many operators will work in the system, number of computers for permanent address, and you can, and if you need to get connections by invitations, or do you want to use your own logo or the name? So, uh, according to all these informations, you will be able to get a pricing package, and uh, here we have advanced or enterprise package. So as you can see, we have the enterprise package, which is uh, going to be costing $12 per month in cloud version. And uh, it's gonna be costing uh, $120 per year. So it's 16% cheaper. And uh, we have advanced package, which is going to cost us $9.5 per month. And as usual, if you pay yearly, you'll be paying for 10 months instead of 12 months. And here we have the standard package, which is $6 per month. Uh, same way, it's $60 per year. So let's go ahead and check out lifetime deals running for getscreen.me. We have it on Stack Social, but they just uh, redirect to another site. Um, lifetime bees, okay, deal mango. All right, they just redirect to AppSumo. So we are gonna stick with AppSumo. Uh, here we have the getscreen.me application on AppSumo, and they are uh, asking for $19, uh, $99. And guess what? The application has 347 reviews. And uh, since we are paying 83% or less, I guess it's a win-win deal. And it's alternative to TeamViewer. Uh, they should have uh, write down any decks here. And let's scroll down, check out the deal. So here is the deal and terms conditions. Lifetime access to get screen, 60 days money back guarantee. So uh, you can just use it for two months. And if you don't feel like it's right for you, then you can just return it and get your money back. So what else are we getting in $99? So one time purchase of simultaneous connections, uh, uh, joint connections, uh, etc. Let's see stack one code receive. So here are the code stacking options. If we stack one code, we are gonna be getting uh, 10 devices, 20 gigs of video recording, five plants per day. So let's match it with any of their plants. Uh, video recording one gigabytes uh, in standard package and video recording 20 gigabytes in uh, this one code. So I wonder uh, which one is it matching with? 100 devices, 50 devices, 10 devices. Okay, so let's see. We have how many devices? Per month and as you can see uh, we have a transfer file transfer four gigabytes of video recording uh, one gigabyte uh, wake up on LAN okay so maybe we have to does it change though okay 150 now let's see if it changes okay so it, it does change so after we change it and select standard it will change let's see 10 devices uh, five clients per day. So let's see, five clients, number of computers, 10. Can we not select 10 though? Okay, here. So five clients and 10 devices as according to that. And let's see, do we have con uh, invitation connection? Okay, let's see, size limitations, 40. Team, two additional accounts. How many operators, okay. Yeah, I guess that's all. So it's gonna be costing us $26 per month. So it's like in four months, it'll just pay for itself. And uh, two months is just extra. So if you don't like it in two months, you can return and then you get the extra two months and then it will be uh, more than $99 if you just uh, purchase the monthly subscription here. And now let's check out code stack two here, which is going to be costing us like $200 almost, $198. Okay, so this one will give us 50 devices, 50 clients per day. So we are going to switch it to 50. So here we go, and permanent access 50, uh, 50 clients per day, quick support, and let's see. Well, I don't think the price is matching, so this has uh, got to be something else. Maybe it's not uh, what I'm thinking. It's, uh, it's maybe it's two accounts. 
So I think this is something like we are having two additional accounts. So I'm just guessing it's gonna be two accounts. Uh, but still, after giving two accounts, it's just way less, $15 per month. And it's just not matching up. So I don't know how this one will work. How many operators will work in here? 50 devices, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. The, I just found out. So after making two users, the price is uh, $15 per month, which is not stacking up with the prices of AppSumo. It's gonna be 198 versus $15 per month. Most of the people will be preferring to get the monthly subscription in this case, but I don't know if uh, we switch to advanced or enterprise packages. They should have been clear with the instructions, so we would have been able to, you know, compare the prices that are offered by uh, get screen themselves. Anywho, I still think these are the better prices because even after the application updates, you will get lifetime support of uh, you will get lifetime support of the application because of this one-time purchase code from here. Now let's go ahead and sign into our account in getscreen.me. So here we go. We have signed into our account. We have permanent access here, quick support here. So I guess these are the quick supports they are talking about. All right, so uh, let's check out what quick supports are uh, for. So quick support is not available until we increase the plan. After we are increase, increasing our plan, we will be able to access the quick support. Now we have users, uh, all of the users are here. We can invite them. And up here, after that, we have connection history. We'll be able to view our connection history. Let's see if uh, we, have, we are able to view our previous connection history from here. So guys, as you can see, we have two connection histories here and they are gonna give out lots of data so to whom you have connected and how long the session was. Everything is recorded here. And uh, we have the application settings and our accounts, or we can increase the plan from here. But uh, let's go ahead and see how this thing actually works. So now we are going to add a device. Before that, uh, we are going to download an agent and we are going to tick auto sign in. So if we tick on the auto sign in, then uh, auto authorization is not supported in this one. You will have to use a console command. So we are going to download uh, the, the Windows binary 64 bit. Make sure that you, that you have 64 bit version or 32 bit version if you have 32 bit. So since we have 64 bit version, we are going to download this and As you can see, it's downloading. It's only three megabytes. So guys, our file has been downloaded and we have sent this file to our remote computer. And now we are going to click on add a device. And since we already have uh, the pile over there, now let's see how it works. Now, as you can see, uh, we are sort of having not installed here. Let's see, uh, try to connect to that device. So we haven't done anything. The file just have been installed to that remote computer. And guess what? We are able to access the entire desktop. All right, so it's connecting to our remote desktop. Uh, well, let's open in full screen. I mean, well, I'm not opening in full screen, but you can also open full screen if uh, necessary. Windows, all right, and we're going to have to request try all the paid features. Okay, let's see if we can connect to the desktop. Well, I don't seem the connection is working. All right, so let's check out. If we don't need all of these settings, uh, we have clipboard here. We can uh, go for file sharing. So we can share files if necessary. Let's go ahead and share a file. Upload a file to remote desktop. Let's see. Now we're going to select a file. I want to upload where exactly I am. All right, so let's upload there. As you can see, my image has been transferred to that folder and we can access the image directly from there. All right, we're going to access the image with the paint tool. So there we go. As you can see, we are able to access the image from uh, using paint tool. And just like that, you can access any image. And since you can transfer files, you will be able to do a lot more with it. 
and my connection is a little choppy but if you have high speed connection then you won't even feel like there is uh, anything there that you are using a remote desktop you'll feel the speed uh, right in your hand and it's just gonna work super fast just like I'm uh, double clicking at the moment and it's popping up a few seconds after so let's close this window and as you can see we pressed close and it's kind of choppy so make sure you have a fast internet connection and then you will be able to uh, control it really fast and you won't feel like you're in on a remote desktop all right so let's end this session and guys by ending this session we are going to also end our video so guys as you can see you are able to do a lot with getscreen.me and using just the web version so you're going to be able to control any uh, any remote desktop from your own desktop or any uh, web browser so basically you just need a device to control a remote computer or maybe your own computer you have this software installed on your own computer and you will be able to log in to your computer using just about any devices from just the web browser. So give it a try yourself and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, the link to this software is provided below in the description. Make sure to grab that lifetime deal before it's gone. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay connected.